Well, hello, I'm back, just like bad luck. I always turn up somewhere. Um, here we are at the Genos again. I've not left this. I've had it two days and um, I've not left it. It's become my go-to <laughs> for everything. Tell, tell somebody I'm going to do the hoovering up, I'm sat here. Tell somebody I'm doing the dishes, I'm actually sat here. If you want to see the house, it's a right state. I've not done anything for two days. I've got to start doing the washing, though, because otherwise I'm going to smell. Um, right, so here we are. Um, I wanted to show you this because this is one of the most emotionally charged styles that I've ever come across. Um, it's called Desert Adventure, and... Um, it really is in it. Um, listen to this. Listen to that reverb. <laughs> Over here we have a hackbrett. Listen to that. And then this is just in the OTS on voice three. We have a pad called Deep Motion, which just is outstanding. Go to OTS2. Listen to that sound. I mean, come on. Listen to that.
that gong at the end. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've I've been making what two, three, four videos. There's four videos now. And normally, when I look at a keyboard and go through it, the novelty features have worn off by now. I mean, I've literally not <laughs> not moved from this. Um, and I'm not running out of things to sort of say, look, listen to that. Oh my God, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And every video I keep saying, listen to those drums, listen to those drums. But not only the drums, the voicing and the orchestration of the styles gives you that it, it's literally like somebody has orchestrated a symphony and removed your part. And they're waiting for you to come and rock up, sit down and play it because... I mean that bumph. I mean that. And the clever thing is that the Yamaha have made massive use of the the length of the style that you can create. No more are we limited to sort of four bars. Well, I mean, you, you, I don't know how. I mean, this has got to be similar to the Genos. It goes on and on and on. For, I think it's 256, I think, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to double check that. But as you're listening to the style, you can hear things coming in, going away, coming in, going away, or the parts appear. It's just, they are just so phenomenally orchestrated. But, I mean... The Duck Meditation... That is just stonking. Um, but to have that amount of... Oh, listen to that. <laughs> To have that sort of on touch. So you want to play like a delicate little thing. And you press with the after touch and it Here we go, the choir comes in and then runs off. <laughs> and we've got this deep motion pad. to make a short video today for only for this style just because it's just to me it's so special and i can think of a thousand uses for this in various scenarios um i'm just going to the other one touch oh i am going to the other To admit, I, I do have a little thing for scores. Um, I've got um, a real love for orchestral strings, horns, choir. This sort of stuff is just, say, goosebump, <laughs> goosebump material. Um, I can find so many wonderful uses for this. And this, don't don't forget, this is just the style with three voices. I mean, even going back to registration or OTS one. <laughs> That's just one voice. If I was to throw that into a MIDI recorder and record what I wanted to play... Actually, do you know what? Seeing as I've got some time together, let's go quick MIDI recording. Record. Let's let, just, just have a look at there.
goes on a bit, doesn't it? Stop. Personally, I would have liked to bump, and it would have really left this sort of open landscape. Right, so I've recorded that, so now that's, yeah, so there you go. So I, now if I play that, I'm going to save that. I'm just going to call it save here. I'll just put new song. Yeah, that's okay. Right, then I go into multi-recording, and then go and tap on the screen, choose new song. Right, it's all there. Play. There you go. Now I'm going to go to track eight. I'm just simply going to choose the instrument or choose the part. I'm going to record right one. And on right one, I'm going to put a string, a nice high. In fact, that new. Cinematic layer, that's nice. Right, so that's set. Uh, look how much time it's taking me to do this. So now I'm going to simply pre hold, uh, pre press record on number eight. Oh, hang on, it's defaulted back to that. There you go, right one. Okay, so now it's going to record my string. Off we go. Don't like that. I hit the wrong note. Let's let's record that again because I didn't want to come in too early. So press record. Simple, so quick. Just go to track seven, choose my uh, right one. Okay. But before I do that, let me put the voice. Let's put some choirs in. Let's throw some of them in. They've got nothing better to do, so let's put some uh, choir boys in there. Off we go. Leave a bit of space. It's that easy. Stop. It's that easy. Anybody that sits at a Genos and thinks it's complicated, no, it's not. You just, it, it's absolute walk in the park um for those of you watching this if you're um not already a member of my club i run a genos club uh, and now it's genos one and two club um if you want to look at it go to patreon.com forward slash genos club i do tutorials on everything to do with genos i create styles which you get as part of your membership each month you get um you actually get to request styles. So if you want to sort of say, I, I want a style for a song I, I can't find or a particular genre of style, drop me a message. Um, but yeah, have a look. Patreon.com forward slash Genos Club. Dead easy. Um, this has been one of the nicest sounds. I'm going to just close without saving. In fact, I better delete this because it's not, <laughs> it's not going to stay in here. Um, so one of the best voices ever. Oh, hang on. So emotive. And then with that particular style. Bomb. 
Right, I'm going to uh, disappear, going to grab a drink, have a bit of um, something to nibble, and then I'm going to come back and have a look at what else I can sort of show you and wow you with, because there's so much stuff in here that absolutely, I mean, I keep going, but I never play jazz music, I never play big band, because I've never felt comfortable on Genos with the sound of it. It's always sound too canned. I tell you what, big band swing. I'm going to show. I'll show you. In fact, I'll show you in another video at some other point because I've got so much to do. Um, but big big band swing is, in fact, all of the styles in the in the big band section, jazz section, are just mind blowingly good, and that's down to the new reverb and the new sounds. Between the two, oh, and of course, the orchestration has changed so much on all of these styles you just get drawn in. It sounds real, not canned music from a box. It sounds like, as I said to you before, it sounds like everybody's set up, there's a seat there for you, and you're going to lead the band. And that's how it sounds. That's how it makes you feel when you play this thing. I'm going to be waxing lyrical for, for so long on this, but it really is just the most phenomenally good instrument ever. See you later, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.